Good evening, basketball fans, and once again, welcome to Eden High School's main gymnasium, home of the Bombers, as we are getting ready for night number two of the girls' varsity Route 49 tournament holiday classic here tonight. As uh, well, we have uh, first up, it'll be the consolation game, tipping off in about three and a half minutes from right now. Followed by the championship game. Afterwards, they'll name the all-tournament team the MVP and, of course, award the plaque for the overall champion of this year's Route 49 Classic. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television alongside Chris Warner. And uh, it's just the two of us tonight. Uh, Jim Seiler's family, uh, I guess, uh, popped a surprise Christmas gathering on him earlier today. So Jim not able to be with us here tonight. But that's okay. Christopher and I, I think, can handle things all right. And we are looking forward to a couple of good basketball games here this evening. First up, it'll be the consolation matchup, which will feature the host team, the Eden Lady Bombers, taking on the Lady Aces of Hicksville. Both of them uh, came up short in the opening round. Uh, the uh, Aces lost to Archbold in game, or to uh, Antwerp in game one last night and the Bombers fell to Edgerton in game two and it will be Antwerp the defending champions from last year taking on Edgerton a little bit later in the championship game but uh, yeah first up it'll be the Bombers and the Aces both teams uh, looking uh, fairly evenly matched uh, if you just look at the uh, the numbers uh, of course again Hicksville dealing with a uh, short squad of their uh, foregoing a lot of the junior varsity action this year because they don't have uh, very many players going out for the team. And Eden, again, uh, ran into a bit of a buzzsaw. Edgerton really waylaid them in the nightcap game last night. So glad to have you with us, and we're going to get started shortly. I want to thank a lot of underwriters making our coverage possible here from Eden tonight. They include our four diamond-level underwriting supporters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Thanks also to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville. Online at aptmfg.com slash careers. The Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy in downtown Hicksville, Ohio. And Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Thanks also to Subway of Hicksville, where Alan and the gang say go Lady Aces. Proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award. We'll be giving one of those out at the end of this varsity contest here tonight. And uh, two silver level underwriters joining us for our coverage of the Route 49 Classic. They include uh, the Hicksville Bank member FDIC and online at www.thb.bank and our good friends at Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering in Hicksville online at guilford-realestate.com so yeah I want to thank everybody for their support they're starting to drop the flag in a moment or two we'll uh, stop talking up here on press row we'll switch off the headset microphones and go down to the floor announcer to bring you the national anthem and the introduction of players and then Christopher and I will be back. <coughs> and we will have the play-by-play -play for you coming up here shortly. But right now, we're going to go down to the floor for the official introduction of players in the National Anthem here at Eden High School tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, from the High School, all of the Blue Mockers, on behalf of the Board of Education, Superintendent Anthony Stevens, High School Principal Peter Lapham, and Athletic Director Matt Rarity, we would like to welcome you to the Nice Rock Point Classic. With the visiting on the scoreboard, Hicksville Aces, and home team, Team Blue Mountains. In order to make sure that contest is as good as possible, please represent your school and community in a positive and respectful manner. That means follow the rules, speak and act responsibly, and show courtesy and respect for your fellow fans, the officials and coaches, the administrators and authority figures, and of course, your team and audience. Let's make today's contest a great honor for respect respect and respect. Thank you. The official design of this contest has been selected and assigned according to the procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Tonight's officials are Otto Lewinsky, Tom Donovan, and Tom Donovan. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have the greatest country in the world with the Freedom Fight Club, which will be by the gentleman who wears hats for the Fight Club National Anthem. First of the age is our head coach, Josh Adams. And sophomore, number three, Kennedy Adams. Freshman, number four, Kennedy Adams. Sophomore, number four, Kennedy Adams. Sophomore, number four, Kennedy Adams. Sophomore, number four, Kennedy Adams. And senior, number four, Kennedy Adams. Well, we're back here at Press Row, and Chris Warner could have got himself a free T-shirt as they uh, head through one our way, but he was too busy switching the microphones. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that was a little bit more I was, important I was than actually, I was actually telling him off camera, go, go grab it, go grab it, man. He was like, no, I can't do it. I got to get the mic switched over. So we're getting ready to get things started again. It's Eden and Hicksville in the consolation game. Getting ready to jump setter circle. We've got Nevaeh Smith and McKenna Baird. Controlled by uh, Eden. First shot's no good. McAlexander grabs the rebound, tosses it over to McKenna Rice. Over to Kennedy. Adams and the Aces will set their offense. Bill Murphy, Chris Warner, glad to have you with us. Looking forward to a fun night of basketball action, and there's our first uh, travel. Okay. That was one of those ones. It was either going to be a travel or it was going to be a reach-in, and they called the travel on Nyhart. It'll be a turnover, and back to the Bombers. Nevea Smith. Nevea had a whale of a game last night, and uh, part of the post game we spoke of last night shot up no good. Uh, Jim Seiler and I were saying that we wouldn't be surprised if they sort of tweaked their starting lineup and gave Nevaeh the start tonight, and they indeed have done just that. Up and good! Two points, and that's a uh, quick two points for McKenna Rice. The Aces take the early lead here. Smith working around, dives in towards the paint. Nothing there. She's cut off, looking for some help. Kicks it back out to Ripke. Ripke over to Briner, back to Ripke, and then back to Nevaeh Smith. 
Two Ripkeys on the floor tonight. Number 20 is Jenna Ripke, and number 12 is Grace Ripke. Grace has the ball right now. She gives it to Jenna. Loses the ball, loose on the floor. We're going to have our first jump ball of the night, and that should go to the Aces on the possession arrow, and it does. Kennedy Adams with quick inbounds to Baird. Baird close to the timeline, tosses it over to Adams. Adams looks down the court, gets it across the timeline to Baird. And she and Adams will work it up the floor slowly down to Heavy McAlexander in the corner, back to Adams. They'll work it around the perimeter, and we're going to have a timeout. Okay. Quick timeout with only, uh, we haven't even played two minutes into the first quarter, and Coach Josh Fries calling a first timeout of the game. They'll leave uh, the Aces with four for the remainder of the action here tonight. Again, glad to have you with us on this, the Friday before Christmas. We had a lot of fun at school today, didn't we, Christopher? Yes, we did. Uh, Chris was over at the uh, high school talent show, and I uh, was recording the elementary Christmas assembly. And then uh, the uh, after the uh, talent show, they had the uh, Dominion Cup games. Who won? Well, sadly, the juniors did. Or sorry, the seniors did not win. Uh, the juniors did. We got we got beat by the juniors. All right. So, but that's just the first stage because the Dominion Cup actually involves other schools. Uh, no, it does not. Actually, uh, not anymore. So, oh, okay, uh, they changed the, it. The house leaders uh, it used to be a competition between Hicksville seniors and Paulding seniors, but mm -hmm. with COVID, uh, they weren't really able to communicate uh, enough with Paulding to reactivate it. So they're just doing it now between the high school grades at okay. Well, that may change, but anyway, the juniors winners. Shot is up, and good. McKenna Baird, two points to make it a 4 nothing game. Here come the Bombers. Jenna Ripke. Working around the perimeter. Nevaeh Smith back out to Grace Ripke. Ripke tries to drive in. She's cut off. Kicks it back out to Jenna. Jenna driving into the paint. Puts up. No good. And that'll come down to Rice. Rice quickly up the floor. Bounce pass to Adams. Up off the glass. No good. Rebound comes down to Briner. Briner to Grace Ripke. Ripke to Nevaeh Smith. Smith gets it back over to Briner. Briner, nothing there. She'll kick it back out. That's going to be picked off by Adams. Kennedy, length of the floor, and she'll get uh, the ball punched out from her from behind by Jenna Ripke. It'll go out of bounds, stay with the Aces. Into the game for the Bombers, number 14, J.C. Craven. Quick inbounds to Rice. Shot up to Baird. Baird shot short. It was grabbed by Nyhart. Nyhart backs it out, gets it back to Baird. McAlexander and then back to Baird again. Baird on the wing. Now to Evie. Nyhart puts it up, no good. Saved on the baseline by Craven. Bounce pass inside, down low. Into some trouble, ball bouncing loose on the floor. Aces pick it up. Nyhart battling for it. And there'll be a whistle and a foul. That'll go on white 14. Craven picks up her first personal team foul number one. Yeah, we gave a uh, Subway Player of the Game certificate to Evie McAlexander before the start of the game. Kennedy uh, Adams got one, too. Got caught up. We wanted to get Kennedy's her last night, but didn't have time. We wanted to make sure both girls got them in time to be able to enjoy them over the holiday break. Nice nice passing up the floor. Oh, off the hands of McAlexander. And out of bounds, it'll go back to the Bombers with 3.59 to go in quarter number one. Shot up, off the glass, and good. 
Walford with the first two points of the night for the Bombers. And a travel. Story did a little shake and bake move and unfortunately lifted up both of her feet. That'll turn it over on the travel call. Grace Ripke looking to get it inbound. She does to Wolford. And we're going to have a foul. That'll be the first team foul on the Aces, and that'll be the first one for Evie McAlexander. Smith gets the inbounds for the Bombers. Down low to Wolford. Turnaround jumper off off glass. No good. Battling for the rebound. Oh, I'm not, well, okay. That's going to be a second foul on Evie McAlexander, unfortunately. And that'll be team foul number two. Evie will seat, sit down and uh, in for her is going to be Lily Porter. Now, last night, the, the officiating crew we had last night, that would have been a jump ball. They were letting him play last night. That shot's up and good. And that'll be another bucket for Wolford. Ball loose on the floor, and again comes up into Wolford's hand. She'll get it off to Ripke. Ripke to Smith. Smith working down towards the corner. Bounce pass down low off the hands of Wolford out of bounds. That'll be Aces ball with 3.05 to go in quarter number one. Adams, bounce pass to Baird, and it'll be a whistle away from the ball. That'll be a foul. That's going to be on... McKenna Rice, that'll be team foul number three for this quarter. Long inbounds pass. Wolford puts it up off glass, and she's going to be fouled by Porter. That'll be foul number four. So the Aces one foul away from putting the Bombers into the bonus for the remainder of quarter number one. Tied at four. That's going to send Natalie Wolford to the line. To the line. Wolford hits the first one. She's got all five of the Bomber points here in this first quarter. One more for Natalie. Gets them both. Six points, Natalie Wolford. Adams gets it across the timeline. Trapped against the side court. She gets it out of there. Bounce pass to Nyhart. Shot off the iron. No good. Quickly back the other way. The Bombers bounce pass to Wolford. Up and good. Yeah, so it's Natalie Wolford, eight, and the Hicksville Aces, four. Bounce pass to Adams. Over to Baird. Baird back to Adams. Adams for three. Off the glass. No good. Rebound comes down to Wolford. She'd take it quickly up the floor, across the timeline, drives in towards the paint, kicks it back out to Craven. Craven on the wing, looking down, tries to feed it down low. Nyhart intercepts the pass, gets it to Baird. Baird up the floor, down to the wing. That's Rice. Rice bounce pass to Nyhart. Nyhart gets it out front to Story. And now to Adams on the wing. Adams back to Sturry, top of the key. Working their way around inside. Kennedy Adams, bounce pass back out to Nyhart. Now back to Baird. Baird shot up, no good. Grabbed by Wolford, gets it to Grace Ripke. Ripke across the timeline with a minute 29 to go. And the Bombers up 8-4 to four over the Aces. Ripke drives in, runs into some trouble, and uh, gets picked. Her pocket picked by Nyhart. Ball goes out of bounds, though, and I think it'll go back to the Bombers, last touched by Story. We'll see what the officials have to say, though, who touched it last. And they're going to say no, Aces ball. Okay. 
We'll take it. Minute 15 to go. Kennedy Adams inbounds it to Baird. Baird quickly to Sanders into the game now. Sturry in the corner, puts it up, in and out, no good. Craven grabs the board. Under a minute now, Craven. Launches it down low, picked off by Nyhart. Quickly to Adams, Adams, Kennedy drives it up, puts it up, she'll be fouled. Fifty point one seconds. That's team foul number two. That'll be the first one on Grace Ripke. Adams, her shot uh, in and out, no good. Boy, the Aces were snake bit when it came to free throws last night too. Hoping they could shake that off this evening. Ogden comes in for the Bombers. Adams, second shot. That one's good. That makes it an 8-5 to five game. Just a three-point differential here. And the Bombers will have the ball on the baseline. Again to Smith. Nivea up the floor quickly. Spin move. Tries to shake Sturry. Drives baseline. Puts it up off glass and good. First bucket of the night for Nivea Smith. Sanders with the ball now. Sanders looking for some help. Gets it off to Rice. Rice up the floor, back over to Baird. Baird driving in. Nyhart back to Baird. Long pass cross court. Down low to Rice, inside, and, oop, nope. Off of Red out of bounds, and that'll go back to the Bombers with 10 and a half seconds to go here in quarter number one. Inbounds to Smith, loose on the floor, though, scooped up. And we're going to have another foul. Seven point two seconds, and that's going to be on Sanders. That'll be her first. That is team foul number five, and that'll put the Bombers at the line here with seven point two seconds, shooting two Addison Briner. Reiner's first one, no good. 10 to five, Aces trailing by a handful here. One more shot for Briner. Up, and no good. Nyhart, not a lot of time. Aces need to get a shot off quickly. Down, up, and no good, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. So we've played one, and at the end of the first eight minutes, it's the Eden Bombers leading the Aces in the consolation game. Here are the girls Route 49 Classic, 10 to five, the first quarter score. Want to say a big thank you to one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible here tonight, and that's the Hicksville Pharmacy. They're your good neighbor pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Full-service pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs. They also have medical supplies and equipment, over-the-counter medications, gift sundries, and more. Next time you're in downtown Hicksville, stop by and see for yourself what a difference being locally owned and operated truly makes. We want to thank the Myers family so very much. As a diamond-level underwriter, they underwrite all of our Aces sports coverage, all levels of play across all of our Hicks TV platforms in 2023. I want to thank them so very much. We hope you will do the same. Because remember, anytime you see Ace of Sports action on Hicks TV, they're the ones that help make it possible. The Hicksville Pharmacy. And remember, if you'd like the latest information on COVID boosters, flu shots, or anything else, feel free to give them a call at 419-542-6218. They'll be happy to help you out. The Hicksville Pharmacy. They're your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. 10-5 Eden at the end of one. And the Bombers will have the ball to start quarter number two here. Inbounds to Smith, and we're underway. Yep. 
Smith with the ball from Ripke. She'll drive into the paint, back it out, back to Ripke. Corner back to Smith, driving baseline, put it up off glass, no good. Rebound to Nyhart, to Kennedy. Kennedy Adams, bounce pass. Adams for three, just a little bit short. Rebound to Jenna Ripke. She'll get it back to Smith. Jenna Ripke, driving baseline, nothing there. She'll kick it out to Wolford. Jenna Ripke again. Being closely guarded by Adams. Ball loose, Wolford puts it up. It bounces on the iron, no good. And ball loose and that winds up being scooped up by Rice. She loses the ball, but Adams gets it back. Back to Rice. Rice driving in and on the side, kicks it back out to Adams. Cross court to Nyhart and then over to Baird. Baird down low to Adams. Adams up. No good, but she'll be fouled. That'll be on Wolford. That'll be her first, and that's team foul number one for the second quarter. Smith goes off the court for Eden and heads back to the locker room for some reason. Over and back. So that'll be a turnover. The Lady Aces will get the ball back. 6.33 to go here in the second quarter. Consolation game action at the Girls Varsity Route 49 Classic coming to you live from Eden High School tonight here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Inbounds to McKenna Baird. Adams now puts it up and gets it to drop. Three points now for Kennedy. Makes it a 10-7 game as the Aces pull back to within three. Craven with the ball, top of the key. Feeds it over to Jenna Ripke. Puts it up and good for three. Jenna Ripke, her first bucket of the night. It's a three-banger. Down low, Adams again, driving baseline up and good off the glass. Five points now to Kennedy Adams. Makes it a 13-9 game. Ace is still within four. Three-point attempt, and that one's good from Craven. <coughs> so the Bombers answering the Aces two-pointers with threes. They go up now 16 to nine, out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Lady Aces on the baseline. Sturry getting ready to inbounds. Quick shot into Adams, that'll be way short, a little bit deflected, scooped up by Jenna Ripke. For the Bombers, she'll toss it over to Craven. Craven across the timeline. Down to Wolford, back to Ripke, Ripke drives baseline, puts it up, no good. Ogden with the follow up, Ogden's second try is good and she'll be fouled. Maddie Ogden gets the bucket and she'll go to the line. Eighteen nine. now, that will uh, be the first foul on Ashlyn Sturry and that's Team foul number one for the quarter on the Aces. Ogden's free throw is good. Three points for Maddie Ogden. And she puts the Bombers up now by 10, 19 to nine. Baird. And nobody there. It'll go out of bounds and that'll be a turnover back to the Bombers. Jenna Ripke from the corner, no good. Wolford puts it up and gets the cleanup bucket. That's unofficially now 10 points for Wolford. She goes into double figures and another timeout on the floor. 4.37 to go here in the second quarter. Bombers up now 21-9. Big thank you to one of our Silver Level underwriters with us 
for our coverage of the Route 49 Classic, both boys and girls. That's our friends at the Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, their main branch in downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Branch is also in Edgerton, it's up all over in Indiana as well. If you'd like to find out more about the many services they provide for you and your family, as well as the uh, branches, the hours of operation, and more, check them out online. It's www.thb.bank. We want to thank them so very much. As a Silver Level underwriting supporter, they're with us for selected programming throughout 2023, including all eight games that we will be covering for you of the boys and girls Route 49 Holiday Classics this year. We want to thank them so very much. The Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, located in downtown Hicksville and online at www.thb. Dot bank. Four thirty-seven to go. Bill Murphy, Chris Warner here with you. We're the crew for Hicks TV tonight. Inbounds, story with the ball. If my voice gives out. Christopher's got the headset microphone on too. He can take over. Taken away, shot up, no good. Loose on the floor, and that'll go out of bounds. It should be Hicksville's ball. It's been a while since Chris has called play-by-play. -play. He should be warmed up and ready to go. <laughs> I've done a quite a bit more color commentary than I've done play-by-play -play for a little while. Yeah. But. Ball stolen away from Sanders, and that'll be off of Ripke's hands and out of bounds, and the Aces should get the ball back. Sturry getting ready for the inbounds. Sanders across the timeline. Sanders being closely guarded, trapped in a double team, and that'll be a jump ball, and that should go to the Bombers on the possession arrow. Up 21-9, to nine. and, well, they were out of sync all last night, too, with the possession arrow, so they're saying, no, that's Ace's ball. Okay. Sanders, back to Story. Down into Nyhart. Nyhart get off her hands. Out of bounds, and that'll be a turnover to the Bombers. Ouch. Grace Ripke inbounding it to Craven. Craven quickly up the floor. Bounce pass inside. Deflected, but it goes back into the hands of the Bombers. Shot up. No good. And it's going to be carrying the ball. And that'll be a turnover back to the Aces. 3.34 to go before halftime. Story off the hands of Sanders. Loose on the floor, scooped up by the Bombers. Aces a little lackadaisical with the ball handling in the last couple of possessions. That'll be a whistle and a foul. And that's going to be on 44. That'll be Hayden Nyhart's first personal. Team foul number two on the Aces. And off the line, it'll be Natalie Wolford shooting two. 3.21 to go. Clock stopped. Wolford misses that one. She's two for three now from the free throw line. Addison Briner back into the game. And here comes a Nevaeh Smith, too, out of the locker room. One more shot for Wolford. In and out, no good. Sturry grabs the rebound. Sturry launches it forward. Wolford slaps it out of bounds. Almost got it to it. Number 11 for the Aces, Adeline Radford. Inbounds, back to Sturry, down to Radford in the corner. Radford back out to Sturry. Down inside to Nyhart, she kicks it right back out. Over now to Sanders, now to Nyhart, turn around and ball is knocked loose. Comes up into the hands of Briner. Briner has it knocked loose, but Smith picks it up. Smith shot no good, Smith grabs her own rebound. Kicks it back out to Craven. Craven shot in and out, no good. 
And ball loose on the floor, and it rolls out of bounds. And it'll be last touched by Nyhart's leg. Mass substitution here for the Aces, five in, five out. We'll fill you in on the players as we go. Smith gets at the inbounds. Now to Jenna Ripke. Over to Craven. Craven into the paint, kicks it out to Wolford. Now Wolford drives into the paint. She'll put up the shot off glass and good. Natalie Wolford taking control here early on. Bounce pass to Baird. Baird down low to Kinner, up and good. Alex Kinner, her first two points of the night to make it 23 to 11. Nevaeh Smith, back to Craven. Closing in on two minutes left in the half. Craven looking for some help. She's being dogged pretty good by Rice. Ball loose on the floor. That'll be a jump ball and that should go to Eden if the arrow on the scoreboard is right this time and it looks like it is, okay. Yeah, I go off the arrow down there on the scores table. Yeah, they, they're switching it on the scorer's table, but so far it hasn't moved yeah. on the scoreboard. Wolford up, off glass, and good. Well, Boo, as soon as we mention it, then they switch it on the scoreboard. Yeah, well, they probably are listening to us. Wolford grabs the board, gets it over to Craven. Ace's shot no good. Craven with a minute 35 before halftime. And almost knocked loose by Kenner. Down around the baseline, and that'll be a push. Kenner might have picked up her first personal. Looks like it. Yep, Alex Kenner with the push. That'll be personal foul number one on Alex. And team foul number three on the Aces. Common foul on the floor. Bombers will have it out of bounds with a minute 26 to go. Bounce pass in. Briner's shot, no good. And on the baseline, I think it might have been dribbled out of bounds by McKenna Rice. Eden will try again. Long inbounds. And stripped away from Jenna Ripke, but picked up by Briner. Briner shot, good. First two points for Briner tonight. It makes it 27 to 11. McKenna Rice, top of the, or excuse me, Kennedy Adams, top of the key. McKenna Rice gets the ball back. Rice bounce passing it over to Baird. 56 seconds into Kennedy Adams up, no good. Rebound comes down to Jenna Ripke, and we're going to have another foul. And that'll be the first on Kennedy Adams. And that'll be team foul number four on the Aces here in the second quarter. One more will put the Bombers into the bonus. 49 seconds left to go before halftime. Launching it down low, and it just sails out of bounds. That'll be Aces ball. 34 seconds. Baird across the timeline. Baird to Adams. Adams driving into the paint. Nothing there. Stripped away from her by Ripke. Ripke gets it over to Craven. Craven with 19. Craven on the wing with 15. Down baseline, bounce pass. And that'll be a jump ball, goes to the Aces with 12.7 seconds. Adams into Baird. Baird back to Adams. Adams across the timeline with eight. And stolen away by Craven. Craven launches it down to Smith. Smith kicks it back out, no good. They run out of time, and that's the end of the first half. And at halftime of the consolation game, it's the homestanding Eden Bombers leading the Hicksville Aces 27-11, your halftime score.
Well, we've reached halftime. Bill Murphy, Chris Warner, your crew from Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us tonight. Hope you're enjoying the live coverage on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Made possible thanks to, uh, well, in part, all of our Diamond Level underwriting supporters, including our friends at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, a world-class facility located in Hicksville's Industrial Park. Offering solutions to business and industry, including robotics, plasma, welding, and so much more. You can find out about the many things that they do and that they're capable of and the projects that they have done not only locally but across the state of Ohio and around the uh, United States of America. Check them out online at www.arcsolinc.com. We want to thank Denny Vetter, the whole gang at Arc Solutions Incorporated for, again, underwriting all of our ACES sports action for 2023 want to thank them so very much and hopefully you will do the same anytime you see aces sports action on hicksville community television they're the ones that help make it possible our good friends at arc solutions incorporated of hicksville ohio and online at www.arcsolinc.com also want to say a big thank you to our gold level underwriter, underwriting all of our Aces basketball coverage for the 2023-2024 season. And that's our good friends at the Subway Restaurant of Hicksville, Ohio. Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say, go Lady Aces. Remember to download the app to your mobile device to take advantage of great in-app specials. You can order ahead. They'll have your food waiting for you when you get there. Curbside pickup and more. You can eat fresh and refresh. Now remember, Subway of Hicksville, a great place to go before the game, after the game, or any time. And proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award. We give that out at the end of each boys and girls Aces varsity basketball game we cover here on Hicksville Community Television. I mentioned a little earlier uh, the uh, last game we played before we started the holiday tournament. Uh, Kennedy Adams was our player of the game. And last night, it was Evie McAlexander, so gave them both their certificates and gift cards. If you, uh, the player of the game receives a $10 Subway gift card courtesy of Subway of Hicksville, as well as a nice certificate. Congratulations to both the ladies. And, of course, we'll be handing out another one, part of our post-game show a little bit later after this game wraps up tonight here on Hicks TV. Official scoring first half for the Aces goes this way. McKenna Baird had a bucket in two. Alex Kenner, a bucket for two. And McKenna Rice, a bucket for two. Kennedy Adams, two buckets and a free throw for five to lead the Aces scoring. For the uh, Eden Bombers, it was a bucket and two for Addison Briner. A bucket and two for Nevaeh Smith. Bucket and a free throw for three points from Maddie Ogden. A three-pointer for three points for Jenna Ripke. A three-pointer and three points for Craven. And six buckets and two free throws. 14 points for Natalie Wolford in the first half. And out of bounds it goes here as we get the third quarter underway. Again, Bombers leading 27 to 11 if you're just joining us. Underway in the third quarter now. Wolford with the inbounds to Smith. Jenna Ripke on the wing. Bounce passes it inside. Down low to Wolford. Up and no good. Ball bouncing around loose. Everybody running for it. Scrambling. Jump ball. That should go to the aces. <coughs> 
Adams over to Baird. Baird back to Adams. Adams driving into the paint, takes it strong to the hoop, up off glass, no good. And we're going to have another jump ball as they battle for the rebound under the hoop. That one will go to the Bombers. Smith drives it down into the corner, kicks it back out to Ripke. Ripke loses the dribble. Ogden scoops it up, no good. Ripke puts it up, that bounce is no good. Ogden off the iron, no good. Adams comes out with it. Kennedy quickly up the floor. Adams going coast to coast, she'll be fouled by Grace Ripke. Ball tries, but doesn't quite make it out into the hallway out front. Stays in the gymnasium. That'll be team foul. That'll be a personal foul number two on Grace Ripke and team foul number one for the third quarter on the Bombers. Adams hits the free throw. Kennedy will have one more. Gets them both. Seven points now for Adams. 27-13 the score. <laughs> Off the iron, no good. Wolford with the, with the board. She'll get tied up. Fourteen red, so that'll be... McKenna Rice's second personal, and that's team foul number one on the Aces for the third quarter. Out of bounds to the Bombers. Ripke gets it in to her sister. Back to Ripke in the corner. Shot up, no good. Wolford tries to put it back up. She'll be fouled to go to the line to shoot two. And that'll be number three now on McKenna Rice. Team foul number two for the third quarter. Natalie Wolford shooting two. Gets the first one. Wolford will get one more. And that one will drop two. 16 now unofficially for Wolford. That one slapped out of bounds by Craven. Should stay with the Aces. 6.29 to go here. Quarter number three. Baird across the timeline. Down to Surrey on the wing. Surrey for three, short. Put back by Evie McAlexander, no good. Wolford grabs the rebound. Quickly up the floor, Wolford holds up and it's a foul. I thought she might have traveled, but that'll be the second on Hayden Nyhart and team foul number three now on the Aces. Quick inbounds, shot up and good, or up and no good, excuse me. And now Ripke, no good. Wolford gets the cleanup bucket. Adams, cross court. To Baird. Baird looking for some help. Gets it to Sturry. Sturry from just inside the three-point arc. No good. Grabbed by Jenna Ripke. Ripke will hold up. Get it over to Craven. Craven to Smith. Smith looking things over. Back to Craven. Back to Ripke. Ripke drives in. Tries to bounce past it on the baseline. No good. That's picked off by Nyhart, gets it to Adams and to Sturry, and then to McAlexander, up and good. Abby McAlexander, her first points of the night to make it 31 to 15. 16 point lead still for the Bombers. Craven, bounce pass, and loose on the floor, Ogden. 
And Adams go for it, jump ball, and that should be the aces on the possession arrow. Alexander, spin move, goes to the hoop, puts it up off glass, no good. Put back by Kenner, that's no good. McAlexander gets it out to Adams. Adams goes to the bucket, puts it up off glass, no good. And a scrum, and it'll be another jump ball, and that should go to the Bombers. Aces, three good, three good looks at the basket, just couldn't get it to drop. Score remains 31-15. Aiden with the lead and the basketball heading up the court. Smith taking her time. Smith, good defense by Adams. Gets it to Craven. Craven going around underneath up off the top of the glass. No good. And that'll be a rebound coming down to Baird, and that'll be the first foul on Addison Briner, and team foul number two on the Bombers for the quarter. Adams, bounce passes it, McAlexander short, Adams saves it, and it's off of Eden and out of bounds, so the Aces will hang on to the ball with 3.42 to go in quarter number three. And a timeout called. And that'll be called by the Aces with 3.42 to go here in quarter number three. Give me a chance to wet my whistle here. Ah, there we go. Again, we want to make mention we have absolutely no control over the music being played into the background. We have nothing to do with it. And again, this is a uh, free live stream, so we are not making any money off of it in any way, shape, or form. All of our live streams are free here on Hicksville Community Television. So I always like to say we appreciate the talent of the artists and the composers whose music is featured on occasion in the background here on... Hicksville Community Television. Aces with the ball, bounce pass in, shot up off glass, no good. A couple of good looks for Alex Kenner, just couldn't get it to drop. Craven, down into the corner, Jenna Ripke. Ripke drives into the paint, gets it off to Grace Ripke. Grace, working around, nothing there. Back to Craven. Craven will put up the shot for the free throw line. That's good. Five points now for J.C. Craven. Out of bounds, and that should be off of the Bombers. 259, 33-15. The Aces trailing by 18 here. They get the ball in bounds to Baird. Over to Rice. Rice down into the corner. Kenner, and she traveled. Took a little extra step there. And that'll turn it back over to the Bombers with 2.51 to go in quarter number three. Shot up, no good. Put back, no good. And that'll be another foul on the Aces. And the Bombers will go to the line to shoot two. It'll be uh, Addison Briner at the line. And that'll be the second foul on Alex Kenner. 
And team foul number four on the Aces. Briner's first shot, no good. 2.39 to go in the third quarter. Kenner will have a seat. In for her will be Nyhart. Misses them both. Wolford grabs the rebound. Her shot back up, no good. And that one's going to be grabbed by Evie McAlexander. And that'll be a foul on the Bombers. Addison Briner getting her second foul. Adams loose, grabbed by Rice. Rice gets the ball back under control. Back to Kennedy Adams down on the wing. Bounce pass to Nyhart. Nyhart top of the key, drives into the paint, puts up the runner off the glass, no good. Aces get the rebound and there'll be a foul on McKenna Rice as she went to take the shot. So McKenna will go to the line to shoot two. And that'll be team foul number four now on Eden. And that'll be the first on Jenna Ripke. Rice at the line. Got it. Sanders back into the game for the Aces. She'll spell Nyhart. One more free throw for McKenna Rice. Got them both. 33-17 now, quickly down the floor, Briner all alone, up and good. Rice, back to Ripke, or to Baird, excuse me. Adams, blocked, ball loose, Adams gets it back, trapped on the Gets it away to Baird. Baird bounce pass up to McAlexander up and good. Four points now to, for Evie McAlexander. Launches it down the floor to Briner. Another all alone up and in. Twice now Briner's got the easy layup. 37-19, here come the aces. Shot up for three, good. McKenna Rice. Seven now for McKenna. And again, Briner all alone and another easy layup. Make it 39-21. Still an 18-point lead for the Bombers. Adams over to Baird. Baird back to Adams, over to Sanders now. Aces will move it around the perimeter. Bounce pass down low, up and good for McAlexander again. Ooh. There's a foul, and the ball goes up about four rows into the bleachers. That'll be team foul number five, so we'll shoot some free throws. As McAlexander picks up her third personal. <coughs> 28.7 seconds. And Wolford at the line. Shooting two. Misses. Natalie will have one more. Nope. And McAlexander grabs the board, ball loose, scooped up by Adams. Adams looking to break the press. Get it over to Baird, Baird back to Adams across the timeline. Adams bounce pass to Sanders. Sanders to Baird, top of the key, no good. Eight seconds, down to five. Craven. Puts it up off glass, no good, and that won't count. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Ace is showing a little life there. Still trailing, but uh, 
They gained some ground. It's uh, Eden 39 and Hicksville 23. 16 point lead as we head into the fourth and final quarter. Want to say a big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible. Here this evening, our friends at the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and of course online at jimschmidtauto.com. If you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new, pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by, check out the selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt Auto, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville. We want to thank them so very much for their continued diamond level support of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts in 2023. We hope that you will do the same. Our it, diamond level underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. And, Bill, I was looking at the score, and I actually watched a video replay, too, because uh, I thought the Aces should be at 24, and uh, I am correct. Uh, they were at 22 points, and Evie McAlexander got a layup, so it should be 39-24. to 24. Yeah, We'll see if they catch it. We're going to go with what's on the scoreboard right now. That shot's up and into the superstructure. Wave it off. 7.49. So we'll see if they do correct the score. We'll let you know if they do. Right now it's still 39-23. Two more points for Wolford. And stolen away. Ripke up and no good, and she'll be fouled. Jenna Rice at the line. That'll be the second uh, personal on Kennedy Adams, by the way. That one's no good. Stays 41-23. And, yep, I, I'm counting, and I have 24-2 unofficially, so. And Ripke gets the second one. And another whistle. And that'll be on Ripke. That'll be her second. And that's team foul number one on the Bombers. Aces with the ball out of bounds. Adams gets it in to Rice over to Story. Ale McAlexander, Adams down low. Rice puts it up. Good. McKenna Rice buries it from just inside the three-point arc. Make it 42, 25, or 26. Blocked, ball loose, still loose, scooped up by the Bombers. Ripke shot, good. That'll be a three for Jenna Ripke. <clears throat> Make it 45-25, aces now find themselves down by 20. Partially blocked, but winds up in the hands of Evie McAlexander. McAlexander, double team, gets it out of there to Story. Sturry to Adams. Adams bounce pass to Sturry down in the corner. Up that'll be short. Grace Ripke gets it to Craven. Craven up the floor. <clears throat> Six minutes to go here in the game. Wolford now down in the corner. Bounce pass. Knocked loose and scooped up. And that'll be turned back over though. Craven gets the pass from Rice. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. That one called by the Bombers. So 5.44 to go here in regulation. 
20-point lead for the homestanding Eden Bombers here in the consolation game, or maybe 19. I double-checked my unofficial numbers, yeah. and I, I, I agree with Christopher that they're a point shy on the scoreboard. But Which I double-checked. I did watch the video replay, so yeah. I mean, maybe at the end of the game they'll look through their stats and find out. But our scoreboard in the top left-hand corner will follow their scoreboard. Yeah, we're, so. we're going to go with the official score on the scoreboard. But just so, so you are aware, we think the Aces might yeah. be a point shy. But either way, right now it's a 20-point deficit. This is the first time out called by the Bombers in this game here tonight. Both teams with one team foul for this fourth quarter. Bombers have four timeouts remaining they can use for the balance of the game. The Aces have two timeouts that they have in their back pocket here tonight. And again, when this game wraps up, we'll have a kind of a quick post game and then we'll take a little bit of a break and Christopher and I will be back. Our second live stream of the night will be the championship matchup coming up between the Antwerp Archers, the defending champions, and the Edgerton Bulldogs. And that off of Briner out of bounds and it goes to the Aces. Adams back to Rice. Rice back to Adams. Bounce pass to Sturry down into the corner and deflected out of bounds by Craven. Or was that Wolford? Wolford with the deflection. Stays with the Aces, Sturry. Quick into Kennedy Adams, now to Rice. Back to Adams on the wing. Adams for three, short. <clears throat> Smith grabs the rebound. Jenna Ripke over to Wolford. They'll run the wheel a little bit. Work some time off of the clock. Smith kicks it back out to Grace Ripke and back to Smith. Ball almost knocked loose. Gets back to Nevaeh Smith and now back to Ripke. And another whistle. That'll be on the floor. And that will be the fourth on McKenna Rice. So Rice picks up personal foul number four. Story out of the game, back into the game. Porter for the Aces. Nevaeh Smith, who was in double figures last night. And just two points to her credit here tonight. Ball rolling loose on the floor. And a pile up, and that'll be a jump ball. And that should go to Hicksville if the possession arrow on the scoreboard is right. And it's not. <laughs> well, well but they changed it right before, so. <laughs> I've noticed they do that. Yeah, so they it's changed. It's like it says, yeah. it says Hicksville, but they're like, no, it's white ball. And it's like all of a sudden, boom, the arrow changes real fast. And then they change it back. Yeah. So 20-point lead again for the Bombers. Wolford drives in, loses the dribble. Turn around, put up, and good. Wolford by far the leading scorer of the game here tonight. Bounce pass back to Adams. Adams to Rice. Rice to Baird. Baird driving in, pull up jumper, short. Slap back in and out of bounds. So it'll go to the Bombers after all. 351 and again Eden leading 47 to 25. Smith gets the inbounds. Wolford up off glass and good. Aces will work it up the floor. Adams across the timeline. Bounce pass down to Baird. Baird puts it up, no good. Abby McAlexander to Nyhart. Nyhart's gonna be fouled. 
Aiden Nyhart draws the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. That'll be the third personal on Addison Briner. And team foul number two on the Bombers for this fourth quarter. In and out. Oh, my goodness. Nyhart will have one more. Alexander will step out and Sanders back into the game for Hicksville. Nyhart second shot coming up. Good. That's her first point of the night. Wolford gets the inbounds. Quickly up the floor. Kicks it back out to Craven. And again we'll see if Eden is going to Nope, they're not going to try to run a little time off the clock. Graven pulls the trigger. Shot's no good. Rebound Nyhart gets it off to Baird. Baird up the floor over to Sanders. Her shot is short. And another scrum underneath the basket. And a travel called. And that'll be on Eden. Aces will get the ball back. 2.46 to go in regulation. Bounce pass in. Rice, Sanders now. Adams in the corner, drives in, puts it up, blocked. Grabbed by Sanders again, now over to Nyhart. Nyhart takes it into the paint. She'll be fouled. And Hayden will go to the line again to shoot two. And that'll be number four on Addison Briner. So Briner and on the Aces side, McKenna Rice, both a foul away from calling it a night. Clock stop, 2.32. Nyhart's first shot, no good. Briner comes out with those four fouls. Smith back in for her. <coughs> Second shot for Nyhart, no good. Smith driving into the paint, putting it up off glass, no good. Grabbed by Baird. Baird to Rice. Rice loses the dribble, scooped up, stolen away. And that'll be a foul. And that'll send Adams to the line. That'll be number three on Grace Ripke. Kennedy Adams at the line shooting two with 2-11 to go in regulation. That one no good. Again, the Aces have uh, had, it's, it's been challenging for Hicksville from the free throw line. Last few games we've covered. And that one no good either. Nyhart though gets the rebound and puts it up and in. Under two minutes. J.C. Craven. And now to Ripke. And now to Grace Ripke. And back to Craven. And almost stolen. Gets it to Wolford. Wolford up off glass. No good. Out of bounds. That should be Ace's ball. With 122 to go in regulation. Radford gets the ball in to Baird. Back to Adelin. Baird across the timeline to Rice. Rice bounce pass to Nyhart. Nyhart kicks it out. Ripke over to Radford. Radford drives baseline, puts it up. It hits the side of the backboard. No good. Grabbed by Smith. Smith across the timeline with under a minute to go. Smith to Craven. 
Craven back to Ripke. Grace Ripke to Jenna Ripke. And back to Craven. Bounce pass down low. Grace Ripke up and good. Her first two points of the night. Stolen away by Craven. Craven bounce pass and Ripke puts it up no good. Grabbed by Baird. Baird up the floor quickly. Baird kicks it back out. Radford shot up no good. Grabbed by Craven. And they're just going to uh, run out the clock here. Four seconds. And that'll do it. Your final score here in the consolation game is going to be the Eden Bombers 51 and the Hicksville Aces 28. <coughs> and as the teams congratulate each other, We will say a big thank you to another one of our diamond level underwriting supporters making our coverage possible here tonight. And that's our good friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio. Located in Hicksville's industrial park and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. And uh, we do want to let you know that they uh, provide all kinds of uh, solutions to business and industry, welding, powder coating, safety equipment, and more. And they are looking to add to their workforce. If you're looking for a great place to start a career or a second career or to hone the skills you already have, go online to aptmfg.com slash careers. That'll give you a full listing of all the opportunities that they have available. You can upload your resume, fill out an application right there online, and who knows? Maybe you can become a part of the APT manufacturing family. I want to thank them so very much again for their continued diamond level underwriting support of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts here on Hicksville Community Television for 2023. Remember, anytime you see Aces Sports action on Hicks TV, they're the ones that help make it possible. Our friends, Tony Nicewander, the whole gang at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in the Industrial Park and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. Real quickly, the unofficial scoring here in the consolation game. Again, final. It was Eden beating Hicksville 51 to 28. Uh, the way I have it break, broken down uh, for the Aces, uh, McKenna Baird had a bucket for two and Alex Kenner also a bucket for two. Hayden Nyhart had a bucket and a free throw for three. It was, uh, let's see, three buckets for Evie McAlexander for six points tonight. Kennedy Adams had uh, two buckets and uh, three free throws for seven. And leading all scorers for the Aces tonight, McKenna Rice with a three, two twos, and two free throws for a total of nine. On the other side of the coin for the Eden Bombers, uh, it was uh, Grace Ripke with a bucket for two. Uh, Nevaya Smith had a bucket for two. Maddie Ogden, a bucket and a free throw for three. After that, it was uh, J.C. Craven with a th triple and a bucket for two for five. Uh, it was uh, Jenna Ripke with a two threes and a free throw for seven. Addison Warner had four field goals for eight. And leading all scorers tonight, Natalie Wolford with two, four, six, uh, ten uh, two-pointers and four free throws for 24 points total. And there you have it. I have it 51 to 29, but 51-28 on the scoreboard. Either way, congratulations to the Eden Bombers winners of the consolation game here tonight. And as for the Subway player of the game, we're going to go by the points tonight. Leading scorer for the Aces, McKenna Rice. We're going to make her our Subway player of the game for this evening. Congratulations to McKenna. She's got a Subway gift card courtesy of Subway of Hicksville, along with a nice certificate that we'll get to her. 
Subway of Hicksville, where Alan and the gang say go Lady Aces, proud supporters and sponsors of the Subway player of the game. So that's going to do it for the consolation game. We're going to step aside. <coughs> Chris and I are going to be back in about 9, 10 minutes from right now. And we'll have the championship matchup between the Edgerton Bulldogs and the defending champion, Lady Archers of Antwerp. And until we talk to you then, for Chris Warner, running the camera and operating the OBS software for the live stream, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television, wishing all of you a very good night and good sports.